All right, howdy, I'm Mike, your board gaming every dude, and I'm gonna show you how to play Picture Perfect Solo. This is a very simple solo mode just to help you so you can play this memory style game by yourself. The first thing that you wanna do is look in the instructions for the two player game. We're going to be playing by the two player rules, which means you're going to have this setup where you've taken all of the placement preference cards and put three into every envelope. From there, you give yourself five cards face up and one VIP card. You give your solo opponent five cards as well and stack them just like this. It's fine that it's face up. You are allowed to look at what's underneath, but it's important to keep it in a stack in order. They also get a VIP card. What you wanna do is shuffle these up Take your VIP card and slide it randomly into one of those. Shuffle it up real good. Flip it over so you don't know which one has the VIP card. You're then, just as in the normal two-player rules, you're going to take three of the auction cards and you're going to take three of these with the circular arrow. And you shuffle them all together to make your six round stack. Then just like in the two player rules, you place the remaining four envelopes in the middle to be available later on. You give yourself 10 decorations and place them on your table. Take all of your figures, put them to the side. You don't need any setup for your opponent other than this little deck. You have a pool of decorations for the auctions there to the right of the board and of course your starting player reference board. The only thing that doesn't come with the game that you will need is a six-sided dice. All right, so to play the game, first thing you do is you look inside all of your cards. So I'd look in all five of these and just like the two player rules, I would place all of the figurines that I wanted out in my dining area getting ready for the picture. Place whomever you like. And remember, you're allowed to look at all of your envelopes. Once that's done, then you can choose to put your VIP in any envelope at any time. So let's just do it just for the sake of the instructions. And then it's time to go to step two. We're just following the player reference card. Flip it over. In this case, it says gifts. Both players give two envelopes to the other player. Cool. So I will pick two envelopes. Boom, boom, put it at the bottom of their stack. Anything new goes to the bottom of the opponent's stack and you take two from the top and put it in your hand. There we go, now you have new information. They still have five in their stack, super easy. So then continue following the instructions on the player reference and once you're finished with that, then you go and you start setting up and rearranging your characters just as you did in the last round. When that finishes, flip the card, see how this goes, and we follow the instructions. This one is theft. Both players simultaneously take one envelope from the other player. That's easy. All you do is you take your cards and you turn it over and shuffle them. And then you take their cards, turn it over and shuffle them, and you just swap them out. Any time that the cards refer to another player, obviously that is your solo opponent, and any time that they refer to the active player, you are always the active player, you are always the starting player, just to keep it nice and simple. This is how you're going to go through rounds. Let's get to an auction just to show how that works. So let's say we followed, we finished that, and we go and we rearrange all our figures following the starting player reference card, and then we turn this over, ah, there we go. We have an auction. This is a shared auction plus one decoration. Each player takes one decoration from the supply and places one of their envelopes in the middle of the table. This is how you do an auction. Your opponent doesn't have decorations, just keep it simple. So you take a decoration, doesn't matter which one. Um, well, it can for your final picture, but you'll learn that strategy by playing. You take one and then you pick one of your envelopes to put up for auction. Slide them in like this. So they always put the new ones to the left 
and then take whatever theirs is on top and put it. So you've got like an escalator going here. So that's how we do our, our auction setup there. And now we continue following, I'm sorry, following the auction instructions, beginning with the starting player, that's you. The active player, that's you, chooses an envelope from the middle to auction. All right, so which one do I want? Let's say I want uh, this lady right here. She's the one I want, so she's up for auction. And so it tells us the other player names the price. How do you do that? That's what the dice is for. Roll the dice. Boom. All right, they bid a four. So what that means is in order to buy this card, I have to pay higher than their bid. So I'd have to pay five decorations if I want that card. So let's say I did that. Take out my five decorations, one, two, three, four, and five. Put them in the pool over there, and I get that card. Or I could not pay, pay that price, and I don't get that card, and I'm down to four. You know, that's my decision. So that's the point of the die. That's how you do the auction. Once you finish that, you see your opponent is down to four. Always bring them back up to five. So you just take one from the end. Put it at the bottom, and there we go. We're back to our normal setup. That's how you do every auction. Each auction has slightly different rules, but that gives you the idea as long as you know the terminology. All right, now how do you win? Well, you have a scoring system. Again, this is a very simple variant. Um, it's not meant to make a very uh, smart AI. That's for a game designer to do. So all you do is you're a photographer, and you are going to be selling your photo. That means you need to determine a price ahead of time. What is gonna be worth your time? Well, my goodness, if I'm gonna be spending 30, 30 minutes playing this game or 45, I better, I would like to make like $75 an hour maybe. So I'll say, I need to make $75 for this shoot to be worth it. So that's my goal, $75. So if I end the game and I get to 75, that means somebody bought this for $75 and it was worth it. Anything less wasn't worth it. So you name your own price, you name your own challenge and try to sell it. If you set it for 35 and you sell it for 35, you know the next time you play as a photographer, you're worth more. Raise the price. It's a beat your own score mechanic, but it lets you play this nice memory game solo that's it thank you so much you still have to follow all the other rules you have to take a picture with your phone and evaluate it according to the rules play it let me know what you think let me know if you'd like anything added if you have a variant by all means share all right that's it love you all see you next time mm -hmm.